Polyprotic acids. Polyprotic acids are acids with more than one acidic hydrogen atom. A polyprotic acid will have a dissociation reaction for each of its acidic hydrogen atoms, which will not all dissociate at once, but rather in a series of reactions called successive dissociations. For example, phosphoric acid, H3PO4, has three acidic protons, which dissociate one proton at a time in the following reactions. Number one, H3PO4 in equilibrium with H plus and H2PO4 minus. Number two, H2PO4 minus in equilibrium with H plus plus HPO4 two minus. And number three, HPO4 2 minus in equilibrium with H plus and PO4 3 minus. Each of these equilibria has its own equilibrium expression and constant. The constants are usually designated Ka1, Ka2, and so on, or just K1, K2, and so forth. When we have a solution of a polyprotic acid, all of the equilibrium reactions are occurring. This can make for a difficult problem, except that for most polyprotic acids, the successive dissociations are different enough that one dominates the equilibrium, and we can effectively ignore the others. Here are the values of the equilibrium constants for several polyprotic acids, as shown in the table in the back of your book. If you compare the values of the successive k's, you will find that, for the most part, there is at least a factor of a thousand between the values. If the difference between the successive k's is 10 to the third or more, the pH generally depends only on the first dissociation. In the case of phosphoric acid, for example, the first ka is more than 10 to the fifth times larger than the second and the second more than 10 to the fifth times the third. So the equilibrium will be dominated by the first dissociation. For polyprotic acids, it is extremely important to identify which particular K applies to the particular problem we are working on. More on that later. Equilibrium in weak bases. Bronsted bases accept protons in a process called hydrolysis, producing OH-. The general reaction for the hydrolysis is B- plus H2O in equilibrium with HB plus OH-. The equilibrium expression for the reaction is Kb equals a concentration of HB times the concentration of OH- over the concentration of B minus, where Kb is the base hydrolysis constant. B stands for base. One example of a weak base, and one of the most common ones used, is ammonia, the reaction for which is shown here. Notice that the charges for the species are different than the general reaction shows. Notice also that the weak base produces its conjugate acid in the reaction. The equilibrium expression for the reaction is Kb equals the concentration of NH4 plus times the concentration of OH minus over the concentration of NH3. Here is a table with a number of weak bases, their structures, their conjugate acids, the hydrolysis reactions, and the values of Kb. Notice that the neutral molecules that are bases mostly contain nitrogen atoms. In addition, any anion is a Bronsted base. There is a small table of bases in the appendix in the back of your book. However, the bottom three ions on this slide are not found in that list. There's a good reason for this, which we will get to later in this lesson. Let's do an example of a pH calculation of a weak base. Here's the problem. What is the pH of a 0.15 molar solution of NH3? How do we solve this problem? We do the same things we do when we're calculating the pH of a weak acid. 
First, we write the equilibrium reaction. This reaction is the hydrolysis of the NH3. NH3 plus H2O in equilibrium with NH4 plus plus OH minus. The equilibrium expression is Kb equals the concentration of NH4 plus times the concentration of OH minus over the concentration of NH3. And the value of Ka for ammonia from our table we've just seen is 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth. Now we set up the ice box using the initial concentration of the base, then find the equilibrium values. Notice that the water is left out of this setup because it is a liquid and does not appear in the equilibrium expression. The initial concentrations are NH3, 0 0.15, NH4 plus, 0, and OH minus, 0. The changes are minus X, plus X, and plus X. The equilibrium values are 0 0.15 minus x, x, and x. As before, if x is small compared to 0 0.15, it can be ignored. So we ignore it. Substituting into the equilibrium expression, we get that 1.8 times 10 to the minus fifth equals x squared over 0 0.15. Powering through the math, we get that x equals 1.6 times 10 to the minus third. At this point, you need to stop and think. What is x? x is the concentration of hydroxide ions, not hydrogen ions. Therefore, the concentration of hydroxide ions is 1.6 times 10 to the minus third. POH equals minus log 1.6 times 10 to the minus third, which equals 2.80. To find the pH, we subtract the POH from 14.00. So we get a pH equals 11.20. At this point, you should probably check to see that the assumption was a good one. If we do, we find that the percent dissociation in this case, it's actually the percent hydrolysis, is 1.1%, which is a good assumption. Ka and Kb. For any weak acid, we have a conjugate base that is a weak base. Weak acid will react with water to dissociate, and the conjugate base will react with water to hydrolyze. So if the acid has a Ka, the base will have a Kb. Let's look at a specific example of this. The weak acid HF and its conjugate base F minus. The dissociation equilibrium for the acid HF is HF in equilibrium with H plus and F minus. The equilibrium expression is Ka equals the concentration of H plus times the concentration of F minus over the concentration of HF. The hydrolysis equilibrium for the base F minus is F minus plus H2O in equilibrium with HF and OH minus. The equilibrium expression is Kb equals the concentration of HF times the concentration of OH minus over the concentration of F minus. If we add the dissociation reaction and the hydrolysis reaction together, the HF will cancel out and the F minus will cancel out. So we get the reaction H2O in equilibrium with H plus and OH minus. This is the water reaction. So the sum of the dissociation reaction for an acid and the hydrolysis reaction of its conjugate base is the auto-ionization reaction for water. We know that the equilibrium expression for the sum of two reactions is the product of the individual equilibrium expressions. So let's look at the product of Ka and Kb. Ka is concentration of H plus times the concentration of F minus 
over the concentration of HF. And Kb is concentration of HF times the concentration of OH minus over the concentration of F minus. And the two expressions are multiplied together. Concentration of F minus cancels out, and the concentration of HF cancels out, leaving concentration of H plus times the concentration of OH minus. This is Kw. So, Ka for an acid and Kb for its conjugate base are related in this way. Product of Ka and Kb is equal to Kw. So if you know the value of Ka, you can calculate the value of Kb, and vice versa. This is why you will not find the value for Kb for the conjugate base anion of any acid explicitly listed in most tables. That is, it can easily be calculated from the value of Ka for the acid. Be careful, however, since this relationship holds for an acid conjugate base pair. If you are working with a polyprotic acid, make sure that you have the right acid base combination. Here is a table that gives you explicit values for the Ka for an acid and Kb for its conjugate base, where they can be measured. You can try a couple to see if the products equal Kw. The effect of anions and cations on pH. When the alkali metal salt of a strong acid dissolves in water, we get a solution that is neutral. However, if we dissolve the alkali metal salt of a weak acid or the halogen salt of a weak base, we do not get a neutral solution. This is because anions and cations interact with water themselves and produce hydrogen ions or hydroxide ions. Anions are the conjugate bases of some acid. As bases, they can react with water in the hydrolysis reaction. The stronger the base, the more hydroxide ion the reaction produces. And the weaker the base, the less hydroxide ion the reaction produces. We've already discussed the relationship between the strength of a Bronsted acid and the strength of its conjugate base. The stronger the acid is, the weaker its conjugate base, and vice versa. The conjugate bases of the strong acids are so weak that they do not act as bases in water. This is why the alkali metal salts of the strong acids produce neutral solutions. The conjugate bases of weak acids are weak bases, so the alkali metal salts of weak acids will form basic solutions. It seems clear that if a cation has an acidic proton, like NH4+, the proton can dissociate and produce an acidic solution. There are relatively few of these substances. Most metal cations, except for the alkali metal ions and most alkaline earth metal ions, also produce an acidic solution without containing hydrogen. How does this occur? Attractions between the positively charged ion and the negative or oxygen end of the water molecule distort the electron distribution, pulling the electrons away from the hydrogen atoms of the water molecule. There is less electron density in the OH bond, which makes the bond more polar and weaker and the hydrogen atom more acidic. The larger the charge of the cation and the smaller the cation, the greater the effect. So what is the effect of having different anions and cations on the pH of the solution? First of all, an anion that is the conjugate base of a strong acid has no effect on the pH. Second, an anion that is the conjugate base of a weak acid will cause the pH to increase. That is, the solution will be more basic than pure water. Third, cations of the strong Arrhenius bases, 
that is the alkali metal ions and the alkaline earth metal ions, do not affect the pH of a solution. Fourth, a cation, that is the conjugate acid of a weak base, will decrease the pH. That is, the solution will be more acidic. Fifth, other metal cations, besides the alkali metal ions and alkaline earth metal ions, will make the solution more acidic. Sixth, and finally, when a solution contains both an anion that is a weak base and a cation that is a weak acid, whether the solution is acidic or basic depends on the values of Ka and Kb.